But what's up, collective? Welcome back, those of you that's returning, and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribes, the donations. I greatly appreciate it all. I see that some of you left some super chats recently. I just want to say thank you to all of you that have left super chats. Thank you for the cash apps, the memos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you for rocking and rolling with me. This is a collective read. This is a general read, meaning I'm picking up on multiple energies, multiple situations, multiple storylines. Please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there what's up collective happy sunday everybody i hope you all have been enjoying your weekend all right i hope you all have an amazing sunday all right definitely definitely sending you guys lots of love lots of positive energy let's get into your message for today again this is a general read everything may not necessarily resonate with you just take only what does and leave the rest. This is a collective read. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Father God, thank you for giving us another day. We appreciate you and all that you do for us. Thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for the air in our lungs, the roof over our heads, the food on our tables, and the clothes on our bags. Thank you for giving us a sound mind. Thank you for our mental, emotional, physical, spiritual well-being. Father God, thank you for all that you do for us. I want to thank you in advance as well for allowing me to use my gifts to help the divine collective. I want to thank you for these clear and accurate messages. I also want to ask that you cover shield protect me as I channel this energy. Please block out any negative energies wanting to interfere with the accuracy of this message. Protect me and my collective that's watching this for their highest good as well. Or you I shall go blind. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. I shall amen. Please allow me to see things clearly, Holy Spirit. What messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome collective today on this beautiful Sunday? What is it that you would like them to know, Holy Spirit? Give me a message for the collective. What is it that they need to know during this time? Three more shuffles. Okay, we got a jump of six of pentacles in reverse. All right, we'll see if that comes back out. Last shuffle for the divine collective, Spirit. Six of Pentacles reverse, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. That Six of Cups in the reverse be coming out a lot. When I tell you y'all got past people feeling some type of way, oh, baby, that's what I mean, all right? Let's see. All right, Justice in the reverse, child. <laughs> the Moon card. Somebody here keeping secrets. All right, somebody here keeping secrets. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here done stole something and then got caught up. They under judgment, child. Look at this. Judgment in the reverse. We'll see if that come back out. But somebody here done got caught up. Somebody here is being exposed in some way here. Somebody here could have stole something. I'm getting strong Capricorn energy. Capricorn. All right. Somebody here could be a Capricorn. Somebody here could have Capricorn placements. I'm also getting Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. That could be your sign. That could be somebody that's involved here. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting going on. There's a lot of conflict between these past people. Collected for some of you, there's something coming out about somebody from your past possibly stealing from you. Okay. Listen, somebody here could be a Virgo. Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra energy. Very strong. Give me something on this five of wands and this six of cups reverse. There you go that Capricorn energy again. I feel like collective whoever you are, you avoid in a drama. These people are heavily burdened and weighed down by their poor choices. And you close out this cycle. You walked away. Collective whoever you are, we got the eight of cups in the world. You guys have walked away from these past people and they're bitter because now shit is hitting the fan in their life. Meanwhile, you celebrating, you know, I mean, this message is so redundant. It's always about past people feeling some type of way, mad, going through some shit. Y'all celebrating. Y'all got a lot of stability in your life while they feel like they've been defeated in some way. But whatever's going on in their life, they did something that was unlawful. Something, somebody here did something that was unfair, unlawful here when it has to do with money. Okay. Somebody here is losing a lot of money. All right. There's a family or a community of people falling apart due to something that they did unlawful for money, illegal for money. I'm also hearing something about somebody's leaking someone's data. Okay, so something about a, a data breach or a data leak. 
Somebody here tried to hack into something or steal something, okay? And that's been exposed. Somebody here got caught up. Maybe when somebody decided to do that, that's what um, sent like a red signal, an alert, okay? Confirmation by them sirens. Somebody here, go, somebody here getting caught the fuck up, okay? Somebody here getting caught the fuck up. <laughs> Give me something on this four pinnacles in the reverse. Yeah, somebody here knows that too. I feel like they just waiting. They mad. You know, somebody here got the nerve to be mad because they ain't receiving something. So you got a thief here that's pissed off because, <laughs> because something ain't working in their favor. Collective, whoever you are, you a star. Okay, you somebody that's a healer. All right, you a healer. Okay, you working on yourself. You healing yourself. You got a lot of stability here. The star, the sun, the three of cups. I mean, not the sun, excuse me. The star, the hierophant, the three of cups. A lot of stability, a lot of happiness, forward movement at the closing out of cycle. Somebody here could have did this shit as, um, as, as revenge, okay? Somebody here could have... Uh, somebody here was seeking some sort of revenge because you closed out of cycle with them as well. And I feel like somebody here didn't think twice about trying to, you know, take from you or hack into your shit in some way, shape, or form. But you got a king of swords in the reverse here that's pissed off. Somebody here could have a Taurus moon. Somebody here could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have that in their chart. But I'm telling you, this person, this king of swords in the reverse is mad because they not receiving anything. So the thief is mad. The thief is mad that they wasn't able to successfully get away with something or they not going to be able to receive something. I'm hearing something about somebody... Um, having illegal documents or forging documents yeah they did this shit to an empress <laughs> come on now you doing shit to an empress and think you ain't gonna get caught come on baby we done went through this so many times anytime you do something to a goddess or you know somebody that's in that emperor empress energy somebody that's a leader someone that works for the divine you guys are showing up as a healer a goddess a leader the hierophant the star the empress i mean you're a big fucking deal Collective, we go through this all the time. Y'all know I read for the divine masculine, the divine feminine, the emperors and the empresses. Y'all know I read for y'all. Empress, here you are. You waste no time coming out. You're celebrating. You're moving forward. You're transforming. You could have just recently went through some huge upgrades, some huge shift, a transformation. But this is a very beautiful time for you after this transformation. And somebody here just was behind the scenes doing any and everything that they possibly could. And now this person is trapped. They stuck. Somebody here could be a cancer. Okay, this bitch is going down. Somebody here is going down. Okay, somebody here is going down. Queen of Cups in the reverse to the chair reverse. King of Swords reverse. These people are going down. When I tell you they're going down, they're going down. I can't make it up the tower. They are going down and they know it and they heartbroken. These people know they're going down. They know they've been caught. They know they've been exposed. Somebody here could also be knowing that the feds is involved because I'm hearing something about the feds being involved. Yes, things have come to the light. Things have been illuminated. The moon to the sun. Somebody here knows that they done fucked up. Six of wands in the, in the reverse. Somebody here knows that they done fucked up. They know for a fact that they got like some, um, they, they are in the spotlight in some way, shape or form. Somebody here knows. They know. They know they done fucked up. Somebody here know that something is not working in their favor. Somebody here know they fucked up. And collective, whoever you are showing up as the empress, you know, somebody here is watching you. They got the nerve to be watching you, still sending you the evil eye because you at peace, ten of cups. Somebody here got to stop, you know, trying to send this negative energy. But, you know, they still trying because a lot of these people are crazy. So they keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Somebody here could be a Virgo, a Cancer. Somebody here could be working with a masculine Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this could be two women here working with this masculine. All of these people are restless. They're tired. They're exhausted. You know, this is sad. But anyways, collective, you got the Eight of Wands here to the Ace of Swords. I feel like you could be receiving some sort of communication about the truth regarding this situation some sort of truth is coming to you very quick fast in a hurry so some of you could be receiving communication about something but you definitely receiving offers and opportunities during this time that's gonna make you very happy some of you could actually be receiving a lot of um good news as well there's a queen of wands in the reverse whose days are numbered god damn so there's a queen of wands in the reverse that's involved in this situation as well that feels like death is coming this could have been somebody that was wishing death on y'all child it's a it's a bunch of shit going on all these people are heartbroken and going down they know they under judgment the tower everything is crashing and burning in their life everything is falling apart yep the death card came back out i i you know i put it back in the deck and it came back out so whoever this queen of wands in reverse is could be a sagittarius or somebody with strong sag in their chart somebody it could be a scorpio okay but i'm telling you this person has death uh surrounding them 
And I had got that message last night that somebody has poverty and, and death. Somebody here has cursed themselves with poverty and they got death on them. Somebody here got death angels um, surrounding them, death angels following them. This is somebody that's very um, argumentative. This is somebody that is uh, promiscuous or this is somebody that just they'll stop at nothing to like tear somebody down and because god has already gave this person multiple warnings to like just stop fucking with y'all and they just refuse to they actually about to be laid the fuck out somebody here could have kali ma that protects them collective for some of you you resonate with kali ma you have kali ma that protects you Somebody here got Kali Ma on them. And y'all already know what Kali Ma is about. Off with they had. <laughs> Collective, you free to go. You free to move forward. Listen, listen, baby. You got all the aces in the upright. You guys got the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ace of cups now. You get to move forward freely, you know? You are the high priestess. I feel like you intuitively know this as well. You intuitively know that everything is working out in your favor, you know? It's not about how. It's, just, it's, it's not about when or how. You just know that it is, okay? Empress, you are a healer of all ages. You are the star. You are the queen bee. You are the chosen. You are the anointed one. Celebration, good times for you. Some of you could be moving, okay? Or you could be relocating or something really beautiful about your living situation with this Ten of Cups. Some of you could also be building a family during this time take it as it resonate but the truth is coming towards you and the truth is leading you in a new direction with a brand new beginning that's going to make you very happy ace of cups ace of pentacles ace of swords for you high priestess empress and you intuitively know this you could have even called this shit you knew that this is how this shit was gonna go you knew that whoever was stealing or whoever was plotting and scheming whoever was hacking whoever was doing this whoever was doing fraud whoever was scamming you knew they was gonna get caught up yeah somebody here is mad because you could see th through their illusions somebody here was also planning to come towards you and say something to you that was false but whoever this is they know that you're gonna be able to tell that they're lying you're a high priestess some of you could even have psychic gifts okay some of you could be very intuitive very psychic with the high priestess energy here somebody that wanted to come towards you with some false information know that they can't do this ace of wands in the reverse somebody here know that they can't be a part of your new beginning they know that they can't come towards you and finesse you and say you know whatever they want to say in order to you know get with you or be with you Somebody here is viewing you as their wish fulfillment, but this person is not in alignment with you. They're emperor in the reverse. So collective, here you are showing up as the empress in the upright, and this person is showing up as the emperor in the reverse. This is somebody that's not equally yoked. This is not somebody that's on the same page as you. You've done the inner work, your healing. This person hasn't done the inner work at all. This is somebody that's very arrogant, very stubborn, okay? This is somebody that's very prideful, egotistical, my way or the highway type of energy. This is just somebody that you're not in alignment with at all empress. And this person knows this. And this person wanted to come towards you, have some sort of passionate new beginning with you, and lie to you. This person wanted to lie to you, but now they know that you're a high priestess, so they feeling very insecure about whatever they whatever lie they wanted to come towards you with. Yeah, this person is very childish as well. Somebody here could also be trying to hide the fact that they have somebody pregnant. So I'm seeing for some of you, this emperor in the reverse could actually have somebody pregnant right now, and they could be trying to hide that from you, Okay. Yeah, this person is very manipulative. I also feel like they're dealing with somebody that has been manipulating their energy as well. They could be dealing with a Gemini, um, a Virgo, a, a Libra, an Aquarius. They could be dealing with a Queen of Swords reverse, a Magician reverse, a Queen of Wands in a reverse. This person actually wants to see this person pass away. But I feel like whoever this feminine energy is that want this Emperor in a reverse to pass away, she has death on her. This is crazy. She's mad because this emperor in the reverse doesn't want her anymore. This is a karmic pair. This is a karmic duo. But the masculine in this situation is pulling away from this karmic distorted feminine. And this feminine has been wanting this masculine to pass away. She's been trying to cause endings for him. Okay, I'm hearing something significant about poisoning. So she could have been trying to poison this man. But things are not working out between her and this masculine. He's pulling away from her. And she's very emotionally unstable. She's very codependent. I'm hearing that song by SZA, and I, I hate that song. You know, and I know a lot of people might give me some backlash for that, and I don't care. I hate that song. I feel like that song is very low vibrational. And there's a lot of people out here that are mentally unwell, and they actually get down like that. You know, they may feel like that song is is a great song they may see nothing wrong with that song i feel like that song and some people may just say oh well it's just a song it's just for entertainment no you have to be mindful of what you listen to you know and when you really spiritual and you on your journey you know that you have to be mindful of what you listen to you have to be mindful of what you um feed your mind your subconscious doesn't know the difference 
You know what I'm saying? That is just for entertainment. So I don't fuck with that song. But I'm hearing SZA kill Bill. And whoever this feminine energy, she is, is like, she's, she's unwell. Okay? She's unwell. She's very unpredictable. She's all over the place. This woman is getting a hell of a, a lot of karma right now. With the judgment in reverse and the will of fortune reverse, this woman is getting a lot of karma. She's very, um mean okay she's she's very mean she says a lot of hurtful nasty things she's very vindictive very jealous very spiteful very bitter she's filled with a lot of resent she's mad at this emperor in the reverse and this emperor in reverse could have already pulled away from her or he's um in the process of trying to get away from her and she's under judgment she's getting a lot of bad karma here for wishing you ill collective and for also wishing his masculine ill okay but I'm telling you, whoever this feminine energy is, she's on that kill Bill scissor type shit, okay? I might kill my ex, you know? She's ready to unalive, motherfuckers. This woman is, um, she's not well, okay? She's not well. Just put it like that, you know? I don't want to trigger anybody or hurt anybody's feelings, but this woman's just not well. Mentally, not well. And whoever this emperor in the reverse is, they know this and they trying to get away from this person for some of you they may even have children with this person or she was trying to get pregnant she could have been trying to use kids against this person in some way shape or form he's healing collective i feel like whoever you are you you've also healed from this situation you don't give a damn you showing up as the empress like whoever you are your vibration is higher than both of these people like i feel like this is just happening on the outside of you but it's something here where this masculine is interested in you empress they viewing you as their wish fulfillment but with the four of wands here the high priest is in the sun you got clarity about something here and you have severed ties with the eight of cups and the world card you have severed ties with this emperor in the reverse completely so whoever you are, you're going in a new direction without this person. Yeah, you've made a choice to disconnect. The love is in the reverse. But I also feel like this feminine is upset because this masculine is making a choice to disconnect from her ass as well. Somebody here could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Somebody here could be a Virgo, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or they could have that in their chart. Collective, maybe you have that in your chart as well. But yeah, somebody here is like, whoo, or they rockers. Somebody here could be an Aquarius as well. Somebody here could be a Libra. I'm getting air signs. This woman could be an air sign. She could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. She could be a Virgo or a Sagittarius but or a Scorpio. Somebody here has completely lost their shit, okay? This is somebody that is like, they feel like their life is over. This is somebody that just don't know how to let go. This is a karmic situation that's ending, and it's ending in a very bad way. This masculine knows. He may feel like his life is in danger. He knows that this woman will be stalking him, harassing him, watching him. She could be setting other people up to watch him as well. She's trying to figure out where he going, where he at, who he's going off to next. Is he involved with someone new? If so, who is it? Where they live at? You know, this, this, this woman is... She off, you know, she's off. Collective, whoever you are as the Empress, you don't want no parts. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, you off to your new beginning, you could care less, okay? I feel like you don't give a fuck about what's going on in these people's life. You don't want no parts of this. But it's something here where this masculine may be interested in you, and that's why it's coming up in your energy. Or this could just be somebody that y'all know going through this, and that's why it's coming up in your energy. But this masculine want to come towards you, but it's a no. Yeah, this person feels like they out in the open. They feel like they like, for some of you, this man feel like his life is at risk. Yeah, five of pentacles in the reverse. He want to come back towards you. Somebody here could be a fire sign, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, or they could have strong fire in HR. But it's a fucking mess with whatever's going on with this man and this woman. Okay? I might kill my ex, okay? His new girlfriend's next. That's what the fuck she's saying that song. I can't stand that song. That's a very low vibrational song. Um... And like I said, a lot of people are mentally unstable and unfortunately things like that do happen. Oh, child. Like, what? We only 19 minutes in. That's the message for today. Like, come on now. On a Sunday, on God's Day, on the Lord's Day, on Rod's Day. <laughs> like, come on, not on Rod's Day. Yeah, this is bullshit, Collective. Y'all staying out of this. This person could be trying to contact you. They can't get in touch with you for some of you. We got love message and a reverse. And this could be this karmic distorted feminine trying to contact this masculine and he could be ignoring her because i feel like he has completely pulled away or he's definitely in the process of trying to do this but he's trying to do it safely that's ridiculous oh it should never be that serious 
somebody here could have did a love spell as well and the love spell is backfiring so now somebody's obsessive that's another thing that could have happened maybe this feminine this distorted feminine did some sort of love spell on this masculine and that shit is backfiring and now she's obsessive and losing her damn mind over this masculine yeah there go that justice in the reverse again somebody here got legal issues somebody here has ruined their life over a fucking man i promise you Yep, it says not happy. Yep, somebody here is not happy. They have ruined their damn life over, over a man. There's a woman out there that has ruined her life over a man. This woman got legal issues now and all of that. I'm telling you, things have been illuminated. Truth, discovery, awakening, illumination. This emperor in the reverse could have um, definitely found out some things about this karmic distorted feminine and now they're pulling away. Somebody here could have also got tarot readings. Somebody's getting tarot readings on y'all collector trying to figure out what y'all got going on. Somebody here is trying to recover from a sex addiction. Child. Let me see here. Let's get some oracles to close out this message. Any oracles for this message, Holy Spirit? Any oracles? Okay, legal matters. I told you. I told you somebody got legal issues now. Can't make it up. Okay, divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic ticket, a whole bunch of legal issues here. Okay, mixed signals. Okay, whoever this masculine is, they could have been sending you mixed signals at one point, thinking that this karmic was going to be, you know, the end or be all for them. And this woman ended up ruining their life. Now they feel like their life is in um, jeopardy. Yeah, they have a love hate relationship here. Again, with that justice in the reverse. Justice in the reverse keep coming out. Yeah, this person, he don't want to be with this Jezebel anymore. But she was trying to cloak herself in Empress energy. Whoever this Jezebel is, this karmic distorted feminine, she likes to appear to be one way that she's not. So this is why this masculine got caught up in this situation anyway. And then with him showing up as the Emperor Reverse, he can't really tell the difference because he ain't in the Emperor and the Upright energy either. This is a karmic lesson. This is a karmic cycle that he needed to um, go through. You know, he has some sort of karmic debt that he needed to pay up with this person. They could have a karmic life, uh, past life soul contract together. But he's seeing the true colors about this Jezebel and she's still trying to cloak she's still trying to cloak her energy she's still trying to cloak herself in divine empress energy divine feminine energy but whoever this masculine is he see the truth about her and he feel like she dangerous this woman is dangerous okay it's a secluded separation reflective soul searching yeah that's what he need to do collective i feel like that's what you did yeah he's secluded and now he's saying he miss you but collective whoever you are you moving on you letting go you loving you you don't want to be a part of this somebody here could even wanted you to be a part of this and be a, a, a third person here somebody here could have wanted you to be a third party you said hell no nah, goodbye yeah you running and so was he he running from this jezebel he was tired of living it in the moment and now he's running away from her he feel like this woman is unhinged she's unwell he feels like she's unhinged, she's unwell, and he feels like his life is in jeopardy. This man is now praying. Somebody here could be praying, okay? Faith, healing, meditation, praying, all right? Yep, told you love message came back out in the reverse. This this man is either trying to send y'all messages and it's not going through or you're not responding. And then for others of you, this woman is trying to send him love messages and it's not going through or he not responding. But this is somebody that was repeating karmic cycles. And that's the thing. You know, once something get bad, it's good for you to learn the lesson and just leave. The longer you stay, the worse it becomes. And that's what happened here. These two could have had a making up, breaking up situation, leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back. Round and round cycles, triggers and lessons. It's like somebody here is repeating karmic cycles. Somebody here is repeating a the lesson. They're not fully getting it. But they fully get it now. Now that their life was in jeopardy, oh, somebody get it now. You know, it, it had to... It, it, it had to get so bad to this point where somebody's finally getting it now. Somebody here could be trying to uh, watch you collective through secret accounts, okay? Or this feminine is making secret accounts trying to watch this masculine. I mean, there's a whole bunch of shit going on here. But somebody here watching somebody through secret accounts for some of you, okay? And somebody's now feeling like a jackass because the love spell backfired. The love spell ain't work. Yeah, listen, these two people could be getting a divorce. For some of you, they was actually married. Uh, this woman, this man could be filing for divorce, okay? Take it as it resonates. But this is somebody that left you hanging, collective, okay? They, like, literally left the divine feminine hanging. For some of you, they left you hanging. It says no closure, no contact. They could have even left you on red, child, because they was with this Jezebel, and they thought this Jezebel was the divine feminine, and they could have thought you was a Jezebel. But shit, now they wishing for you. 
If I had one wish, they wishing for you, but it says block, spam, calls, text. Yeah, they got karmic ties with, um, you know, this unhinged being. All right, y'all. <laughs> this was the message for today. I hope it reaches the right ears. I hope it gave you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. I'm going to holla at you. Enjoy your Sunday, everybody. Peace.